Dr. Jason Chatfield from Jungle Island, which is just a couple of miles from here. Yep. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you guys doing? We had a little cool show and tell this morning with some of the great animals you have over at uh, we, Jungle we Island. sure do. Who's this? Th this? This guy's name is Henry, and he is a nine foot long albino Burmese python. Is Burmese python the thing that they're having all the problems they with are having, here? I, yeah, they, they're having some issues. I don't know if I'd call them problems, but there is some issues. There are more pythons found in the Everglades now than there ever has before. I think in, in the early 80s, they only had found one. Right. Now they're up to about, uh, uh, they, they found a, uh, about a, a couple hundred, um, but they've established themselves, hey, it's, it's a great climate for them in the Everglades. It's perfect. <laughs> it's a lot like where they come from. All right. Well, let's look at some of the other animals okay. here. This well, is a good looking animal. Right here we have a blue and gold macaw. Yeah. Uh, his, name is, his name is Sammy. All right, and Yo, he's just Sammy. a beautiful bird. We like to always bring out some parrots. This guy's from from Central and South America in the, in the uh, uh, Amazon down there in the, in the forest. And he's just a beautiful, beautiful bird. We have lots and lots of parrots down in Jungle Island. Right. So, and we have a couple other animals like to show yeah. you, okay? What, do you we're, want? We're gonna go ahead and get this guy yeah, out of here real quick. It, yeah, please, uh, we're gonna and move Moksha. the snake now. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. This is Ricci, all right? <laughs> this is a two-year-old orangutan. All right, come he, here, buddy. He is awesome. Are you in? Oh, oh, look at that. Now, oh. he wouldn't go to me, so you're very special. <laughs> now, what's he? He's an orang. He's an orang. Orang's from Borneo and, and, and so the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. This guy's about two years old. Now, Moksha here, just like a human baby, every three to four hours has to give this guy a bottle. Yeah. It's a lot. A lot, as you can oh. tell, as you can tell, there's a very Somebody much of a love bonded. relationship Somebody there. Somebody has bonded there. So there's no question there, but it's a lot of intense work to get an animal like this, and, and we're very, very happy to have this. If it wasn't for Moksha, that this animal probably wouldn't wouldn't be around. So we have to keep keep him on a bottle for at least at least a, in the wild they nurse for at least eight years. Wow! All right, very good. Let's, All right, we got another very cool animal oh, here. Oh, look at this! Now, what's special about this guy? This is Cody with with our Bengal tiger cub. This guy was born on Christmas Day. So what a present! we have here and if you guys notice the way he's holding may look a little bit rough but that is exactly how mom would, would move the animal if mom wants to move around sure. holding like this you notice the tiger is very very relaxed it makes it easier for mom to move the animal around so yeah. that's exactly what we're doing here this one also has to have a bottle every three to four hours awesome so See you later, six pal. weeks old now look at this look All at right. this here we go. Oh, we've like a lot of the baby animals. Yeah, out we here like this babies. Morning. Look at this guy. So, <laughs> and guess guess who Mama is for this one? You are. You bet. All right, these guys get fed not quite as much. These guys are a little bit older. This one's about four months old. We get it. This is a, a red kangaroo uh, from Australia. Is a female. I have a couple interesting facts about these guys you may not know. Number one, females of the kangaroos, females are the only ones that have pouch. Wow.